Hi everyone, welcome back to my voiceover vlog and today I'm going to talk about the voiceover booth. So this is basically the room that you record in, where you put your mics in. And when I started as a voiceover, I didn't have a voice booth. So I first started at my desk and then you hear a lot of room noise, so that definitely won't work, even if your house is in a very abandoned place and you have no traffic sounds still it's acoustically insufficient as you can hear with this recording it is okay for an explanation but it wouldn't be okay for a professional voiceover recording so what i did is i bought the isovox 2 that is a solution that you can put on your uh, on, on a, a speaker stand and then you can put your head around in it inside it and uh, i put a professional microphone the neumann in it and it sounds very very good so acoustically it's more than okay However, it's not very comfortable because you have to stand in there. It's very tiny and, and cramped and um, you don't have a lot of oxygen. So you can be there for three to five minutes, but that's max for every recording. So if you have to do an audiobook, for example, it's not very comfortable. There is no ventilation. And um, you still have a lot of outside noise because it's not a completely closed room. Because a voiceover booth does two things. It keeps the outside noise out and um, creates an acoustically dry, dead room uh, that has as less reflections as possible. So um, I'm going to talk about the booth that I end up purchasing, and that is the Vagustic Ultra booth. It's made in Portugal. Um, like I said before in the introduction, this is not sponsored, so I'm going to be uh, honest in my review and uh, tell you everything about it. I um, did a lot of research online on vocal booths and then I wanted something with ventilation, big enough, but I also wanted something that would be visually okay in my house. Because if you have an industrial business room, it's okay to put in a very ugly voiceover booth because you don't care. But it's in my house and I wanted it to be okay looking and just um, light and friendly and not very dark and... and um, blocky so uh there is this line of eco booths they they look awful but they are very good and they are in the price range between three and five thousand euros um you have the the studio bricks those are the awesome brilliant vocal booths but they end up between seven thousand and ten thousand euros and they're not really suited to put in a house because they're very big and very heavy so um they're also low end, like the Isovox is, is, is around 900 and that's a speaker stand solution. But there is a, a I, I'm not currently uh, having the brand, but I'll put in the links. There is a 1500 euro solution for a kind of a screen on legs that you can put around your desk. But all of that is not the same as a vocal booth because of the fact that it's not a dead reflective room. So I found this website of Vicoustic and they have the Vic Booth Ultra and you can make it online 3D. I end up paying around three and a half thousand euros, including uh, shipment from Portugal to the Netherlands where I live. And um, I received it. It was very fast. I, I believe two and a half weeks from order to doorstep. And I thought that was quite fast for a uh, custom design store. Uh, booth because you can make every every wall in the 3d designer you can decide if it's flat if you want acoustic treatment if you want a window in it if you want a shelf on it if you want the door with glass or not etc so i designed it i end up not having glass in my door because i wanted a window so i can see my my screens as you can see in the back uh, there you have this screen if i'm in the boot i can see my monitors behind me of the computer uh, and it's also for the light but if you have glass in the door as well it's another re reflective area and i didn't want that because it's sound wise not a very good choice but it is very nice optically but two and a half weeks for a custom designed thing is very good i received it it was it's one of the best packaged uh, things i've ever received i mean ikea ikea eat your heart out it's amazing very very professionally packed very good descriptions i like it when in every box of screws there is extra but the extra is even counted for in everything so everything had one extra so you know that it's just a very good and durable process and they really have attention for making this and it's very professionally produced so as you can see uh, the booth is one by one 
and it has a shelf and a window in it, I put my headphone there and a uh, Koenig & Meyer stand with a split for two microphones. Um, on the top of the booth is a double ventilation unit. I mounted the wireless remote uh, just with some tape inside the booth. Um, and if you have the, the roof structure, it, it has layers of um, acoustic panels in there. And if you have on the one side the acoustic or the, the ventilation unit, it, the air flows through different layers and comes out in the booth. And also in the floor, that's the same thing. And that means that if you put it on, you have no audio recordable inside the booth of the ventilation. And it does help because one of the things that you really need if you're in a booth for a while is good ventilation because otherwise it's just really stuck there. And um, sound wise, I think it clears around 30 dB of outside noise. So if you have your children in the same room shouting, you will definitely record that. So it's not as good as a studio brick, which is completely dead empty, but that's not suitable for a normal human being in a house. And definitely like uh, my house, I have it on the for first floor here. So you have to lift it up and that's terrible with the professional uh, heavy boots. And this is kind of an in-between solution, but I do like it. And and I think it's very affordable for the quality you get, but it's not the holy grail in acoustic treatment. So you will definitely have some outside noise if you have loud things happening. Um, but for me, if I'm in the booth and I have to do something late at night, there's no sound at all noisable outside the room in my house. And um, that's the most important thing. Inside the room, it's absolutely brilliant. So the sound quality inside is great. You close the door, it has this, this uh, rubber ring around it, it sucks it in, so it's very good closed. It feels very comfortable. Um, I, I think they did an amazing job. What I would have liked was an option to uh, pre-install microphone booms in the roof because I still have to find some solutions. I bought this thing, I'll show it to you. It's like uh, this uh, K&M holder for an iPad for, for text and stuff. And I still haven't found a way to mount that properly and, and, and comfortably. So I have to tweak some stuff. Um, but most of it, it's, it's, it's amazing quality. And especially for the money you pay, it's a real good solution. So you might ask yourself, I'm starting as a voiceover, do I need a booth? No, you don't. You can start with your uh, linen closet and some, some cloths in there and some clothing, but it will always be audible. So I can hear this in a recording. If you want the first step, it's like the Isovox 2. That's the first step that you can do as a professional voiceover because it's doable, it's movable, it, you can put it away, it doesn't take a lot of space and the audio in there is really professional. I can promise you that if you have a good microphone and a Isovox 2, you have brilliant audio and it's suitable for every professional solution. However, it's not very comfortable, so it's a, a patch for you. And as soon as you do more than three, four jobs in a week, I think you um, you want a comfortable space as well as for a lot of the platforms you work on, you have to do auditions. So I do two or three auditions daily at least. So you want something to get quick in, quick out and have a good neutral recording. And I really like the Vagustic. It has amazing, it, it looks very good. It, it looks amazing, better than any uh, uh, booth I came up uh, with in professional studios. So it's, it's really, uh, really good. Um, there is some flimsiness that you have the acoustic wall panels, as you can see, and they are very, very good. But the, the, the brackets that you mount them on are this plastic, shitty, flimsy stuff that they really should change. And, um, I would have loved some extra options. So microphone boom, iPad holder, some lighting. There's no lighting in the booth other than the, the window. Um, so there is some tweaking to do, but overall it's amazingly well packed, well sent. It's in use in professional studios around the world for really big names. Um, so yeah, I, I would uh, recommend this, uh, this booth. However, if you have a business environment or a industrial uh, property office somewhere, then you, and it's not on the first floor, but on the, on the flat ground, uh, you, you can choose any booth and then the budget is a limit and you can make it really crazy there are booths for 15 or 20 thousand euros and obviously they'll be better 
because the acoustic treatment is, is a lot better. And uh, that's mainly uh, a difference in the outside noise coming in. The inside uh, reflection and acoustic quality of this Vacoustic Ultra is, is as good as any. Um, so that's my thing about the voice booth. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.